Okay, I want to do one more with you since there's actually three parts. So there's three parts to the graph similar to this one. Linear, constant, linear. So I want to go ahead and do one more with you. Uh, so let's look at z of x is equal to, and here are all the pieces of our function. It'll be negative 1 when x is less than 0, x minus 1 when x is between 0 or equal to 0, and less than or equal to 2, and then negative 2x plus 6 when x is greater than 2. So we're going to find points for each one of these, and then we're going to graph, graph it. So let's start with when x, we don't even have to find points for the first one. So for when x is less than zero, then our graph is gonna be a constant negative one. So here's negative one, and here's the origin, zero, zero. So zero, negative one, we're gonna go ahead and have that be an open circle Zero is not included, so it's everything under zero. And then, just, there we go. All right, so check, we did number one. Now let's find some points for x minus one. All right, when, when x is between zero and two, and that is where our graph is. So we're going to find 0. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. We're also going to find 2 because that is also included. So 2 minus 1 is 1. And then let's go ahead and find what's in between, which is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. So let's graph this. 0, negative 1. 2, 1, 2, positive 1, and 1, 0. There we go. And so these points are included, so we're just going to have a little thing like that. And then next, we're going to do negative 2x plus 6 for x is anything over 2. So let's find out where that is at 2. So negative 2 times 2 plus 6 gives us negative 4 plus 6 is equal to positive 2. Now, x is greater than, so let's graph it at 3. Negative 2, whoops. Negative 2 times 3 plus 6. Negative 6 plus 6 equals 0. And then let's find that at x equals 4. Negative 2 times 4 plus 6 gives us negative 8. Plus 6 equals negative 2. And so let's go ahead and graph this. 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2. Open circle, that point is not included. 3 is 0. And 4, negative 2. 